We're on the go with Joe, and today he is enjoying an early morning cocktail hour. Well, he's reporting about it. Joe doesn't get to indulge on these things, but he's learning all about a new right. partnership, right, Joe, between an Oregon brewery and an award-winning bartender right. and author. Yes, I don't get to try them until about, let's see, I'm off at 11.30, so 11.31. Shauna, thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, we are back here once again with Jamie Floyd from Ninkasi. Also, Jeffrey Morgenthaler, he is a, a James Beard nominee, what, seven times, I think you said, seven right, times. for Best Bar Program. Uh, and now they've co come together for these cocktails in a can. In our last segment, uh, we showed him putting together a gin ricky. And now... Jeffrey, you've got a bunch of grapefruit out here. It's a agave paloma. What, what is a paloma? Paloma is just uh, tequila and grapefruit soda. Uh, huh. We might make ours with uh, fresh ingredients, you know, so we're sort of like reverse engineering grapefruit soda from scratch. Uh, and, and really, that's about, that's about it. You know, we put a little uh, lime in there and just a little tiny bit of jalapeno meat, not... Uh, not the spicy part of the jalapeno, just uh, kind of accentuate those flavors. Okay, so you've got the tequila there, and then you freshly squeeze this. Now, I imagine when you're making this on a giant scale, like you're, you're like you're doing for this, does the approach change for how you put these cocktails together? It's a process. Yeah. It's a long process. Uh, you know, we spend a lot of time in the lab. You know, like I was telling you, I spend a lot of time in my kitchen, sort of perfecting yeah. the drinks, and then we go into the lab down at Nicasi and Eugene, which was great for me to be able to travel to Eugene mm -hmm. uh, a couple times a week and and get in the lab and just like get really geeky and, and nerd out with ingredients and, and scale those, scale that, that single serving drink up to a, a big, you know, thousands of gallon serving. Oh, J uh, Jamie, if you do me the honor, so Jeffrey's working on a, a Paloma for one, but you know, you don't even have to do that because now you can just crack open the can. You heard that? All these drinks are carbonated as well, right? You were telling me? Absolutely. That's a signature part of all of these drinks. You want that refreshing little snap when you open the can, and then it tastes so delicious as it comes. It also releases, the carbonation actually releases aroma principles up into your nose. So if it's uncarbonated, then it sort of doesn't jump out into your nose the way that that does. I'm even getting it, even through my N95, I can smell that thing. That smells amazing. Now, uh, these go on sale today at Oregon uh, liquor stores uh, pretty much today. That's right. Ask for it by name, the Ninkasi cocktails. And coming up in our uh, final segment, guys, Jeffrey's going to uh, talk to us about the bourbon renewal. That's the third of the cocktails. This is a signature drink that's been now made all over the world. So we've got a lot more coming your way in just a bit. Let's send it back to you.